hey guys welcome back to automation elearn this is Suresh Dubey and in this video i will explain the step by step process to upload your first project on github there are different ways to do so but we will talk about the most realistic approach in this video so guys there are many approaches to create or upload files and folders on github repository but in this video i am going to discuss the approach which is most realistic scenario this is what most of us need to do to upload a project on github while working on real project so in this approach we will use few git commands to upload a project having different files and folders from your local system to explain the whole process i am going to use this repository to upload my project so this is the brand new repository it doesn't have any files and folders uploaded yet this is the repository which I have just created and it doesn't have anything it's empty right now and this is the sample project on my local system which I have been working on it has a couple of files and here my aim is to upload this project on github repository this repository to achieve this you have to execute a couple of git commands to move your files from one stage to another so basically you need to move from one stage to another and eventually you will reach to the stage where your project is uploaded into github i have discussed different stages in git and the commands which help us to move from one stage to another in detail in this video so you can watch this video to understand git architecture in detail to take a reference of git architecture i have this diagram so this is a four tree architecture and uh, as you can see here we have different stages for example working area staging index local repository and remote repository so these are the stages which we have to cross and eventually we have to reach to remote repository where your project will be part of remote repository it means github and these are few commands which help us to move from one stage to another git add git commit and here also we have one command to upload your changes to remote repository so currently your project is on your local system so it is a part of working area stage and you need to execute one command and then it will become a part of staging index and here also you need to execute one command then it will become a part of local repository and here also you have to execute one command and then it will become a part of remote repository so currently i am on working area and uh, to achieve all these things to execute these commands we need one software called git so you can go to gitscm.com and based on your operating system you can download this software from here and you just need to install it simply on your local system with all the default options you don't need to change any options you just need to click next and uh, it will get installed properly once git software is installed you will get one option here called git bash so i am at the root of my project and uh, here we have to open git bash so git software is mandatory to have so that you can execute few git commands and you can move your files project files through these stages so having a git and git bash is mandatory then only you can execute git commands so you need to open git bash from the root of your project you can see i am under session and test and here first thing that you need to do is initialize the repository on your local so currently if you look at your repository it has few folders and few files but this project test project is not a repository it's not being treated as a repository git repository so you need to execute one command called git init so this will initialize git repository we are into test so this will be treated as a git repository after initialization so initialized git repository and this is the path and in the project if you notice here we have dot git folder it has all the information all the tracking and history information so this also i have explained i have discussed in my few videos so you can refer git playlist on my youtube channel and you can learn all these concepts but for now we have to understand that we have to initialize this 
so that we can get dot git folder and from this point only this folder test project will be treated as a git repository so this is the first thing that we need to do and uh, now we can execute few more commands to move our files through different stages so let's check the status here we can see m1.txt and names folder is untracked so we have to add these files and folders so as i mentioned currently all the files and folders are on my local system it means it's a part of working area and here we have to execute git add command then it will become a part of staging index so i need to execute git add and uh, name of the file and i want to add everything present under names folder so git add and name of the files and folders separated by space and again if i'll check status earlier it was showing in red now it's showing in green color it means these files and folders are part of staging index now and from here also we have to execute one command which is git commit then it will become a part of your local repository it will be committed to your local repository so git commit and we have to give one commit message maybe first commit and enter so i have performed my commit and uh, now my files and folders are part of local repository here we can see this is the commit id and this is the commit message and these are the files and folders which i have committed so till now i have reached to local repository stage initially we were in working area but now we are at local repository but our goal is to make this project as a part of remote repository so that we can upload it on github right so here also we have to execute few commands just because this is the first time we are uploading this project on github we have to execute few additional commands that i will be explaining in few seconds from local repository to remote repository we have to execute few commands so that our project can become a part of remote repository on github so normally what we need to do here is we need to execute git push command so that we can upload our project our files and folders whatever we have committed here it will get uploaded to remote repository but just because we are uploading this project first time so at the moment git doesn't know where to upload what is the address of remote repository it doesn't know what is the address of this repository where i want to upload my project and what is the address of this repository this is the address it means i am on github and this is my account and this is the name of the repository so somehow i need to tell my git software that this is the address of my remote repository where i want to push my commit i want to push the changes push the commit from local repository to remote repository so it's mandatory for git to know what is the address of remote repository so let's see what will happen if i'll execute git push so here we have a fatal error no configured push destination it means git is not aware about the destination where to push this changes either specify the url from the command line or configure a remote repository using this commands so this is the suggestion from git so we'll use that so basically we need to add the remote repository address this url here as a remote address so i need to execute git remote add it means we are adding a remote address and we need to give some name some name to this remote address so generally we give origin you can give any name origin and url so this is the url that we have to give and enter so just now i have added my remote repository 
and it has a name as a origin and uh, now let's give a try to execute git push again so this time i have another message earlier it was no configured push destination git was not aware about the destination but now what it's saying is the current branch master has no upstream branch so on my local you can see we are on master branch right this means on local you are on master but what is the branch that you have on remote repository so now git is aware that i am talking about github.com suresh tube demo123 so demo123 is the repository where git will push my changes but to which branch on my local i am on master but what is the branch name on what is the branch name at this location at this address so the current branch master has no upstream branch upstream means there is no branch linked from remote address to push the current branch and set the remote as a upstream use this command so again git is giving a suggestion we can use this so here what we are doing is we are executing git push command but we have additional flag called set upstream and origin is the name of the remote that we have given it means on this remote address consider a branch called master so now git will know like okay git will push the changes to this address which is nothing but this url this repository demo123 and master branch on demo123 and uh, here you can see branch master set up to track remote branch master from origin so master branch on local this one is set up to track the remote branch master on origin so origin means this repository and it also has master where all my changes all the files and folders which were a part of this project is uploaded on github and git push command executed successfully it means all the changes from the local repository move to remote repository where in the remote repository the address that we have given at this address so we need to give address so that git can understand where exactly we have to push and in what branch and uh, git push command executed successfully and uh, if i'll go to repository now on github and if i'll refresh this page so here we can see we have all my files and folders so we had m1.txt and names and name1.txt same thing we can see here m1.txt names and here we have name1.txt and here we can browse all my files and we can see the content so just because this is the first time we are uploading this project on github on remote repository so we had to execute few additional commands otherwise it's pretty straightforward so we executed git add and git commit and uh, these two are related to git push right where we added a remote address and where we mentioned which branch on the remote repository otherwise normally now if you will make any changes to this project suppose you updated few files here or you added a new files then it will be pretty straightforward now you just need to execute git add then git commit and directly git push will work because now git knows this project here we have dot git right so this has all the information it has information about your remote address and it has information about your master branch also so now you don't need to execute these two commands git push normally will work so that was the practical demo to upload your project on the github similarly if you are a student who wants to upload some study materials or want to upload your practice files then you can follow the same procedure and keep safe all your files on github and if you want to keep it secure you don't want to share it with anyone then you can use private repository on github and upload your 
and upload your files using the same process. I have explained the step by step detail to create a private repository on GitHub in this video. So please check out the steps if you want to have a private repository on GitHub. There will be one difference if you are uploading to remote repository and if your repository is private currently demo123 is a public consider demo123 is private then when you execute git push it will ask for the authentication so you can enter your github login credential and it will work normally so that is the only difference in case of public repository you don't need to give any credential but if it is private repository then you need to mention your credential all right guys i hope it is clear to you now and uh, you can refer the previous video to understand git architecture you can refer my previous videos to understand what are the other details that it has under dot git folder so that's all for this video guys let me know in case of any doubts or any questions feel free to share your thought on this if you like the contents and the topics that i'm sharing on this channel please do subscribe to the channel and uh, share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you